Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you all for coming. I want to show you another through night flashlight. I, if you watch my channel a lot, you'll know that I do a lot of uh, videos on through night flashlights because they are super nice LED flashlights. They make several different models. The reason I'm showing you this time with my uh, dual sport, my CRF300L, is because this is the one that I want to keep in my tank bag on the bike with me at all times because it's nice and small, compact, uh, good for waterproof, and it's going to be something I can carry with me. It holds charge a long time. So let's take this out of the box. I'll zoom up here a little bit closer and we'll check out this light. All right, so here we can see a closer look at the box. Uh, this is the Through Night TN12 Pro. We're gonna open this box up, take a closer look at it. They come with this little, uh, it's almost like a little rubber band that holds the box together. They come really nice, well packed uh, in the box. Here's the light in the plastic bag here. The box has nice foam around it. Then we have our instructions. One thing cool about through night lights, all of them that I've had actually, they come with extra parts like uh, they have a rubber boot that goes for your USB here. They have some rubber O-rings in case you happen to damage an O-ring or one eventually goes bad over time. Uh, different things like that and it does, like I said, this is a carry with a little strap. And then here we have the clip, which these clips are really nice and I always use the clips for these. And they just snap on, there's actually a groove in this light right here. And you just snap this clip into here. And super nice, and I'll show you another cool thing about this clip here in just a little bit. But the cool thing about the clip is, one cool thing is it's both directions. So you can actually uh, clip it from this side, or if you go here, you can clip it from this side. It does come with a nice carrying case. And even though I won't be wearing this on my belt, in some situations I might, but for now, I will keep it in this case because in my motorcycle, in my tank bag, that's just gonna give it a little extra protection keep it protected in a tank bag. So it's a nice little nylon carrying case for it, belt clip, and it does say through night on it. So the through night, everything about these lights is quality. They do a super job. You can pay a lot more money for a light and not get nothing compared to this thing. I mean, I've got several of them now and I love every one of them. Uh, one nice thing about the through night lights too, they are rechargeable. This one has USB to USB-C. So super cool. Instead of having to carry around extra batteries with you, you can charge this. And I can actually plug this into the USB on my motorcycle and charge this thing right up. Just plug it right here on the side. Um, the LED indicator right here on the button will tell you that it needs charge, how much the charge is, and will tell you when it's full charge. The battery inside these is really good batteries. I have tested these batteries on a tester, actually, the through night batteries. You can see this one here is a 3400 milliamp hour, 18650, 3.6 volt, 12.24 watt hour. So as I said, the through night batteries are not cheap batteries. These are really good batteries. You gotta watch on batteries. You get a lot of 18650s out there. They'll claim how many milliamp hours are, but they're not even close. Some of them I've tested say like 3400 milliamp hour. They're about 900 milliamp hour and they're junk. These are actually true to what they say. Good, good batteries. So it just slides in like that. When you get this light, it will be, it tells you on here about it, but you thread and thread this cap down tighter to make it where it comes on. That's how they keep it from making contact. On the back, you can see the tail button right here. So that tail button's real nice for just, you wanna hold the light up and you just wanna momentarily uh, use the light. Super awesome to have that. Then you have the actual power button right here. So if we hold this down, we got Firefly, which is super, super low intensity, but I'll show you in a little bit the specs, how long this thing lasts on Firefly. It's pretty incredible. Uh, but if we turn it on normal, we'll have it on low, medium, high. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, there's low, medium, high right there. That's the three stages. Now, if we double click this, then we're gonna turn it on to turbo, which is super bright right there. So that's, then I can actually feel the heat on my hand right here. This thing's shining, it's, it's got some power. And then what this thing does on turbo to save it from getting too hot running your battery dead, it will run so long on turbo and then add to protect it, it will actually shut down to a lower power mode, which is still pretty high, but to keep it from getting too hot and save the battery. So if we triple click this, 
Then we have the strobe mode in case you need it. So we'll take this paper right here and we'll check out the specs on this thing. Okay, so on the specifications here we have uh, over here it tells us strobe. Strobe is 560 lumens and it will last for 4.5 hours. Firefly, which is the one I showed you that was, if you hold it down, that's the super low. It's 0.5 lumens and will last 37 days. So you're out on a motorcycle, hopefully this never happens to you, but if you get out in a situation where you need light and you need it for a long time in emergency, that thing is ample light at night to see on that Firefly to get by with and 37 days is incredible. Okay, so if we're on low power, then we got 50 lumens and that will actually last 46 hours, which is still pretty incredible. Uh, if we go to medium, we're talking 220 lumens and nine hours, which is really good. Okay, here we have high power, 550 lumens, 2.5 hours. Okay, then we have the turbo over here. And turbo is 1900 lumens. And then after a certain amount of time, after seven minutes, it shows here seven minutes, it will drop down to 477 lumens. And then when it drops down to 477 lumens, which is pretty close to the high, it's between medium and high, then it will last 130 minutes. The indicator on that button that I was telling you about this here, the colors on it and how this button works. So basically too, when you charge this, this light's gonna be red when you're charging it. You'll know it's full charge whenever that light turns blue. It does have a little sense thing here. You can sense this up around your wrist if you want. And then I'm gonna keep this also, like I said, in here to stow it away in my bike. And then I also want to keep my USB charging cable because I can plug it right into my bike and charge it up. And I mounted this on my bike. This is a dual USB outlet that I mounted on my bike. And then we'll just plug this USB-C part in right here. And then when I turn my key on, that light is red. Now this is not a bright light. So he probably won't even see it on this video, but it's red right now. So it is charging up. Just very hard to see. Uh, it will turn blue when it's full charge. Okay, so this is the one part I wanted to show you about this clip and how this clip works. Uh, like I said, you can clip this on your belt uh, or on, your, on just onto your pants. Or on my situation, if I'm wearing my helmet out, I can actually clip this onto my helmet. And now I can have light on my helmet. If something was to happen, you never know. Uh, you might need to use it on your helmet. The other cool thing is, take my favorite hat right here, and I can clip this onto my hat. Now you can clip this thing probably on top I mean, you could clip it underneath, whichever way you want it, so it'll go either way. But it's actually a real nice, good fit on a hat. And then just turn it on, you can walk around with it on your hat. Okay, guys, here we are out here tonight. I'm on low power on this thing, believe it or not. Look how bright this thing is, shining on the back of the house. Check this out, up toward the peak there. Wow, I mean, this thing is nice. You can even see it shining on the tree over there. This is low power. Okay, so let's go to medium. And there's high, low, medium. Okay, we're on medium now. Look at medium. This light is super, super impressive. I really like this. Wow, TN12 Pro. Through night, I'm telling you. Let's go to high. High, okay, now we're on high. Easy to get confused, not paying attention which one you're on. But that's high, check out the spot out on that tree. It's actually making a spot. Go over here, look down the road, them street signs down there. Or actually, signs for these little underpasses down here. There's one right down here, too. Beyond this Johnson grass mess here. But look at this. Check out that oak tree over there. I mean, that's way over there. So if we double tap, we should go to Turbo. There's Turbo. Turbo is unreal. I guarantee you. Hey, look at that down there. It's quite a ways down to that road down there. Up on, I live up on a hill here, so this is down in the bottom by the road in that culvert down there where the spring is. Look at that. Man, I can feel the head of the light where my hands are on here heating up. You can see the LED light on here. You can feel that getting actually pretty darn warm. That's why it will actually run a little while and then shut down to a lower power. But, man, turbo is incredible. Look at the beam it's putting out coming out of that light. And you can see the dust and debris, bugs, and all kinds of stuff in the air with this thing. I mean, that is crazy for such a tiny light. This is one heck of a deal. I'm definitely gonna keep this in my bike. 
Okay, let's turn this off. Let's put it on Firefly. Okay, here we are on Firefly. And Firefly, that's actually not bad at all. I mean, I can see, you can see over here, see these, uh, let's see here, there's a little wishing well style grill, outdoor grill we made. Wood pile there, get over here to the bike. Look at the bike. I mean, you can actually work on this Firefly. And what does this last, like over 30 days, 30 some days? That's pretty impressive on Firefly. I did not expect it to be that good. Okay, if we, so if we triple tap, we should go to strobe. Yeah, and if you don't mind strobe, watch out. So, strobe, pretty cool. Let's go back to on now. Low. So there we go. Back on low again on just regular uh, low, medium, high part. And check out the bike. You could really do something with low power. You don't really need it, but I mean, if you need it, you got it. And then here, let's go to medium. Medium. And let's go to high. There's high. Wow, that dude. It's actually too bright for the camera probably, but that looks really impressive. Look at all that honeysuckle over there on the hillside. This is my squirrel feeder. Look at that thing. It actually blows that out on the ground. It is so stinking bright on high. So uh, I don't even know why you need turbo, but turbo, if you need it, it's there, man. And it is super bright. Now, this is not turbo. There's turbo. Bam. It actually kind of makes the camera, it, it's bright. And then the camera kind of dims down to compensate because it's so bright. All right, guys, so that is the Through Night TN12 Pro. As I said, I'm gonna be carrying this on my bike all the time. I'm gonna put it right here in my tank bag. You could put it in your tail bag, whatever, because it's so small and compact. I'll keep it in the case and keep it in there. Anytime I'm out on the bike, I, I won't have to worry even if I get caught out in the dark and unexpectedly and something happens, I need to work on the bike or whatever. I have a light. If somebody needs some help, I'll have a light. I will post a link to Amazon below where you can check this light out. Do a search on YouTube for Woodsman Through Night and you'll see all of them that I've done. There's some pretty awesome lights on there. But check this one out on Amazon. Check out my links. Click the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Catch you on the next one. Right on.